I have a box. It's a very big box. It's huge. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, this looks absolutely incredible. Hello, YouTube. My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And today's video is an amazing one with a huge announcement coming up real soon. And of course, a very special collaboration between myself and Printful. But first, who am I? Well, my name is ADC Art Attack. I'm a professional artist here on YouTube and have been for the last many years. I'm mostly known for starting the Professional Artist vs. a Children's Coloring Book series, which went on to become a massive hit on the platform. In recent years, I've gone on to produce the Cheap vs. Expensive art series, as well as the One Color Art Challenge. But most recently, I have gone on to become known for having the largest market collection of any artist on this platform. Okay, so I don't know if I have the biggest collection, but I do know I have way too many. Now today's video is a very exciting one, especially for me because this is gonna be, I am, oh, today, right here, right now, I am gonna be creating for you an original piece of artwork as a first look at a brand new coloring book that I will be releasing very soon. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna be ordering a canvas print from Printful and reviewing it for you here today. I'm probably gonna, I think I'm gonna put it up. This is so exciting. So, it is time to get started. We're creating a design for this print. Now, I'm gonna be talking you through the entire process as I do it, what I go through when I create an original piece of artwork for publication. So, let's do it. Now, like every good day I have begins, I start with a cup of coffee, setting up my workspace with no distractions other than the canvas and sometimes good music. The coloring book idea that I'm working on today is influenced by the channel mascot Bob and Kiba, my dog. Both of these characters have been widely influential in my career and when making a self-published product, you wanna have a real connection with the subject. I chose a coloring book to be one of the first major products that I launch as not only is it one of the main things that I am known for, but it's also a niche market. It's something that I feel brings people together and holds no expectation, allowing for personal expression and enjoyment. And so the drawing and creation process of Kiba right here is massively influenced by my love of comic books. I'm a huge fan of comic characters such as Spider-Man, and I brought that style over to Kiba, giving him his very own Spidey suit, custom tailored specifically to him. I think that's what makes the creative process so enjoyable, is taking those things that we love and just adapting them, working with them, expressing our favorite things, our hobbies, our interests into a personal product. And of course, once I'm happy with the design on paper, it is time to move it to a digital format, and that is where the drawing tablets make their appearance. Now this attempt that I am making today is actually one of my earliest, and therefore I don't pretend to fully understand what I'm doing. But over the couple of weeks since creating this, I have gone on to train and practice my digital style and perfect it into two new characters, Bob and Sally. That said, the foundations that I learned today helped me to go on to create a work of art that I am so proud of. So I'm using Photoshop here, which has been an incredible tool in rendering my work. Of course, digital doesn't hold a candle to traditional methods. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> but if you are looking to create crisp, clean artwork with beautiful, vibrant colors, then yes, digital is the way to go. That said, I was using an awful method to color here. You can tell I have no idea what I'm doing as I select and drop colors in place. This is something that I do correct later on as I learn Photoshop and adapt to a personal style, which is something I think is key. Photoshop and digital tools are a great basic starting point, but I would strongly recommend that as you become familiar with the tools, begin creating your own brushes, your own comfort zones. Tailor the programs to work for you. Make them work for you. Now 
Now, the drawing of Kiba is done, and as to not spoil anything else, I'm gonna stop right here. So now we're gonna head over to the Printful website and order my canvas. Hi. Okay, so here we are at the Printful website. Now from here, all I've got to do is select the product that I want to print on. Now they have so many different products from home and living, hats, accessories, anything you can think of, they've got it. But for the purpose of this one, I'm going to be using the Fin Canvas. And then from here, things get really easy. All we've got to do now is select the size of the canvas we want and go start designing. You'll be welcomed with this design page that gives you so many options to create a design. But as we already have a custom one that we've just drawn, we are going to import that here and I've just realized something. A couple of moments ago, I said to you, you're not gonna see the final result until the end. Hmm, I, I need to upload it now. So, uh, spoilers. Are you excited? I'm excited. There it is. So, a little bit of an issue here. The drawing, too large. That's no problem. All we gotta do is transform it and create it to fit the frame. Now it is the correct size, as you can see it's just spilling over the edges, but I don't want that, so I'm going to rescale it and just have it fit on the face of the canvas. Aha! Quick note, Printful does recommend that you fill the edges to avoid any of the white coming through to the front. Of course, this is a preference as I chose to go with just the front print, but it should be noted that it is recommended you do fill the edges. And here's a little feature that I think is absolutely incredible and sets Printful apart. Mock-up view. Printful's website provides you with a mock-up image of the canvas before you print it. So you are happy with what you are going to get. This is... Well, let's just see if it looks like that when I receive it. Add the cart, and now we wait. All right, so here it is. Now, I've already done the thing, you know. Woo. Ha! Bad idea. Because I wanted to check and make sure everything was... Okay, that's a lie. I got excited and I opened it, but don't worry, I haven't looked just yet. Ooh. I am so excited. <laughs> um, okay. Before you look, I'm gonna... Mm, smells new, it feels lovely. This is incredible. I can't even lie to you, this is incredible. It far exceeds my expectations and I am in love. I can't think of a better way to reveal the book than this. I am really, like, it, it looks, seriously, the print is incredible. Uh, I, I love you. This is definitely going up on the wall. All right, so I don't have a nail to hang it up just yet. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so I've got to reiterate once again, the colours here are incredible. I didn't expect this print to be of such high quality because it is exceptional. It's not just a good print, it is perfect. Absolutely nothing was lost in the details here. It's a completely perfect match from the Photoshop image that I originally created. If I had to rate this product out of 10, I've got to give it a straight 11 out of 10. It excels in every area. I'm Honestly, just take a look at the black inks. They are absolutely spot on. So I guess the question is, would I recommend Printful? And you just watched the video, absolutely. If you are someone looking to sell your artwork and need prints, or perhaps you are someone looking to transfer your own artwork to different canvases, then I can't recommend Printful highly enough. This was a quick, easy process, and I look forward to using Printful even more in the future. So, I do hope you enjoyed the video here today. Before I sign off, my name has been ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And I want to give Printful a big thank you for having me here today. It was amazing, and I look forward to our future together. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.